Hello, this is Paula Jasmine, and this is going to be a quick video blog. I hope it's a quick video blog, because usually when I say quick, I end up talking about for about 20, 25 minutes, half an hour. Um, one second, let me close my door. And I'm getting interrupted by people. Anyway, so, it's, it's, I have no idea what day it is. Let me check. I think it is. Yeah. It's Thursday, November 6, 2014. It's only a few more days and I will be turning 39. Holy crap, 39. Damn it. Um, never expected I was going to live this long, you know. Anyway, um, a lot of things that have happened in the past few months. Uh, first of all, I got lucky. I was able to pass probation in my workplace. So, passing probation, that's a good sign because they give me more time to look for a better job, and I'm still looking for a better job in uh, um, around here, and trying to, I am trying to think, and trying to see if I can find uh, look for jobs in other areas, in other states. I've been thinking about moving out of New York State, um, to a different state. Um, but so far, I haven't come to a complete decision. Um, for the moment, I got an upcoming interview with a former em employer of mine, so we'll see how that goes. It's going to be on November 24, and it's been uh, five years since I backed down from the state in um, 2009, so hopefully um, it will be all right, and I will be able to, if they offer me the job, I may be returning back to work for the state, but who knows, honestly, like right now I, I'm looking for options. And at least I have a job for the moment, and and that's a good thing, you know. Like I, I'm employed, I'm earning some money, I'm able to pay some of my bills. I have to me like the money that I get because of my cell phone is still a, a little bit difficult to pay all my bills and catch up on everything. I've been falling down a little bit lately, um, in a few hours because of the schedule that I work. I work at night, and. Um, that's a very rough schedule to work, and uh, because of that, I've been, um, I think I've been falling a little bit uh, down. Um, the other thing is that i also been thinking whether I should get a car. I want to get a car because I feel like a car can help me uh, move around easier, um, but in order for me to get a car, I have to, I don't know how will I be able to get it because I facing and I'm repaying student loans and those student loans are taking a good chunk of my monthly income. Um, I wish there was a way of getting rid of those student loans and I, I I think I have to make, I I know I have said it in previous video blogs, I think it's time for me to actually consider the option of crowdfunding, see if I can get some money to be, some help to get rid of at least the private student loan because the other loans are federal. So, uh, I can put them on uh, income-based repayments, but the private student loan, that one, it doesn't let, leave me too many options of repaying that loan. And because of that, that one is the most difficult one that is actually wrecking havoc on my finance, monthly finances. Um, so, I need to find a way to be able to, to, con to, to get rid of that stu student loan private student loan, so that way I got more money in my pockets, and that way I can use that money to maybe get a car or even get a better place to live, because also I'm very happy in the apartment that I live. If you look around in my apartment, let me give you a quick show around, you know, it's not the best place. I mean, it's, it's alright, but it's not like there's no luxury, there's no, like, niceness in here. It has carpets. I don't like carpets, all right? I prefer wooden floor because it's easier to clean. Um, and, yeah. It's tiny, and then the kitchen area, it's tiny, and uh, honestly, I don't like the person that I'm living with either. We don't get along very well, and, and I think because of that, I feel lonely because I don't get along very well with my roommate, and there's not too much, to, there are not many things in common with him, and because of that, I feel like um, most of the time, um, I spend on my room and alone, and I think that's also adding to my, to me feeling down and de and depressed. Um, 
when I'm around here, I'm, when I when I'm on my, on the weekends, you know, um, um, he's very weird and um, he has different habits than I do, and um, we don't have the same taste. And uh, there are even some things that he has done that have bothered me, and um, I, I I don't feel I, I I'm tired of living here. I I, I need something better. I need I, I want to live with somebody that if I get sick, they can help me out, you know, because when you get sick and you're on your own, it, it it sucks, you know, and when you have a person that doesn't care shit about you, you know, like, there's very little you can do, and, and I want to live with people that would care about me, that would get along at least, and we'll get to talk and maybe, you know, do things together every now and then, you know, um, not live so distant, like, he, 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 he rarely texts me, and when he texts us only to request things, uh, that benefit him, you know, or to tell me things that are bothering him uh, about me um, because I'm making either too much noise or something like that, you know, uh, which is ridiculous and it, it, it is what it is, you know. Um, I do want to get a new apartment and and hopefully if I get a better job then I will be able to do that too. Um, anyway, I don't know what else to say but, you know, We'll see what this upcoming year brings. I've been living here for about a year now, and I've been lucky that I've been able to get a full-time full-time work because before part-time part-time job, it was I was doing okay. I lo I love it, but I but but I was in school too, and and working full-time was not a possibility. Um, but now working full-time has been helping me a little bit, and I've been able to take care of myself in a better way, you know. But I want things to improve more than what I actually have. I don't want to get stuck in what I have. I think I got better ways that I can contribute in a in a different type of uh, work environment. And um, I basically want a new chance. You know, I want an, another a better opportunity. You know, I want a better a better job. You know, I don't want to get I really don't want to get stuck with what I have because um, I want to end up doing that forever and ever. Finally, I'm also. Last weekend I was in Connecticut, New York. In, no, Connecticut. Connecticut, not Connecticut, New York. I was in the state of Connecticut. I made a debut. Uh, I mean, I didn't bring the debut. Um, okay, it was not a debut because I already debuted on the ring. So it was my return to the wrestling ring. And um, yeah, so I decided to return back to the wrestling ring. I'm trying to to work out, uh, t find time to go and train so I can remove some of my ring first. Surprisingly, because I have lost weight, I'm now on uh I used to be on 225. I'm with biking, uh, riding my bicycle, and all that stuff I lost. I got to 208, and then because of my job, where I'm always like lifting heavy, heavy bags of material and always moving, I ended up losing more weight, and now I'm on the 196 pounds, which is close to where I was when I started doing professional wrestling back in 1999. So. Yeah, I have lost some weight, and actually, I haven't forgotten how to wrestle, and I got in the ring, and my body is moving better, and I'm not feeling pain anymore when I take bumps. Um, I was having, for a while, I was having some sciatica problems, and um, but not anymore, and um, I don't want to leave it for too long, for, 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 for later. I want to make a return to the ring and do a few, maybe one or two more years, see if I can survive the strain of that, um, and do a few matches before finally hanging my boots for good. Um, I knew I was good in what, in what I was doing, and I'm pretty sure I can still do a couple of good matches, so I want to get that back on, and, um, and now especially because I got a, I'm part of a wrestling stable, I guess, that's what we'll call it, or a wrestling group, you know, and, um, we're a group of, uh, uh, transgender women that do professional wrestling, and um, and that's why I basically decided to return back to the ring, um, because I believe in, in the idea of what the group is meant to, to do, you know, um, we are not afraid of, like, getting in the ring, we're not afraid of admitting who we are, and we can kick ass, so, so yeah, um, I hope that I can do more shows in the future, so we'll see what happens, you know. For the moment, um, I still have to work out some of the logistics of other things that I want to accomplish too. 
anyway, I'm going to cut here because I think I'm getting to like seven minutes or past seven minutes. So, if there are any questions, topics that you would like, like me to, to tag and discuss about, just send me an email or write your comments and I will consider them. For the moment, have a great day and that's it. Bye. Peace out.